Well, good morning, everybody. I have just arrived at Moreland's Farm. It's about an hour and 10 minute journey for me. Uh, not too bad. And uh, it's going to be fun driving tomorrow, I think, because we've got um, Hurricane or Storm Eunice or something forecast. Uh, 70 mile an hour to 100 mile an hour winds and uh, things that the uh, southwest coast is going to get. So it's going to be pretty grim tomorrow, I think. Um, I assume the match is going to carry on. It's a very open and exposed venue, this, but luckily that means there's not, not many trees to fall down. I can't see many, actually. So, uh, But anyway, yeah, we've arrived at Morland's Farm. This is a silverfish-only two-day event. Um, no F1s, no nothing like that counts. Um, Out-and-out silverfish. It'll be skimmer fishing, I think, um, and roach and perch and things, but skimmers to uh, to do a weight. And, uh, and it is on weight, this. It's two days and um, overall weight, so it's not on section points. I'd rather it be on points, um, but um, there's an odd number of people here. I think there's 41 people here, so um, Grant's done it on weight. Um, so there's 10 anglers on bank pool, 10 anglers on moors, and 20 anglers on meadow pool. Uh, my favourite pool's bank, um, but um, it's also full of carp there. So it could be if there's some lovely big skimmers in there, but um, you might get carped out. We've had a lot of wind all week, and it's quite mild really, so I think the carp are gonna be quite active in certain areas. So maybe if you can get out, out on the wider places like on meadow, you might be able to avoid those carp. Um, but we'll see anyway. So uh, I don't, oh, I don't know, don't care where I want, to, where I draw. Just nice, somewhere nice and out the wind, and then a peg full of skimmers. That'd be nice. Is that it? Is that it? I think it is. I just heard some pips. I think that's it. It's gone anyway. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> So I've had uh, a little nugget at about 8 metres, same at 13 and a bit. I'm going to feed positively, I can't remember where, there, 13 metres there. I've plumbed up to 14 but it's quite a small lake and I think if I fish too long I'm just going to catch carp. Especially being in the middle of the lake. So that's the, that's the theory. Right or not. A few, uh, a few live maggots, a few pinkies, a little bit more of that. Uh, quite a positive one line, one very negative, one very positive. more than that or not? No, just leave that. Got a ground back down the side as well. Two maggots. A bit more ground mate. Let's see if some skimmers will settle over that down the side. Play maggots there all day. About a metre from the bank. There we are. Nice and simple. I've chopped some worm up, got some pellet. But I'm uh, gonna start on uh, not that big. I'm gonna start on uh, maggots. Maggots and pinkies. 
nice and simple. Single dead maggot to start with. So basically I've got two 13 metre swims, an 8 metre swim and a margin swim. And I'm just going down a maggot, dead maggot, live maggot and pinky root. But I have got worms and I've got pellets, just in case. Right. I've got Mikey Williams directly opposite me, so uh, what's he on? 18? 16? 18, yeah. So uh, he knows this place really well. He's been doing really well here, so someone to watch out. The wind suddenly got up out of the blue. It's been flat calm, and it's literally just starting to blow now. <laughs> Yeah. It's going to be a hurricane tomorrow, so let's make the most of it today. Probably going to just lightly loose feed some maggots on this swim, and then I'm not going to loose feed at all on the long swims because I want to catch skimmers there, catch a bit of everything on this short line. But I think, being sat where I am with the aerator opposite, I'm going to hook a few carp. Just want 20 odd pound today if I can. <laughs> 18 pound plus to give me the chance to win. I think you're gonna want 20 pound both days. So I'm just gonna lightly flick some maggots on there already. Just just five or six. Get me eye in. I don't care what I catch on this line. Some big skimmers would be nice. There's some nice big skimmers in this lake. down there. It's a half gram rig, wire stem because I was expecting the wind to get up. Four to six slip. Now I'm out of the wind but my, my pole tip's really getting buffeted a bit. They got right, right in their chops on the far bank. We might hear a few bangs today as well because there, uh, there's a few trucks been uh, emptying their loads. <laughs> catching roach that size but what we want is the skimmers there's some a lot of pounds two pounds skimmers in here so uh, that's what they're the target if I can get half a dozen of them today amongst a load of silver that's the plan oh dear that was a carp <laughs> First carp. He was about three foot off the bottom. Must have just swam through the rig. Luckily it came on. Those pegs there diagonally me that way, they're the ones I wanted to draw today. Because I was there on a feeder only match and we caught a load of nice bream there. Apparently that's where they live. I 
and there the target. Oops, we're looking for this. That's a good sign because I just topped up with a little nugget. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna top up the short line with the same and I'm not gonna lose feed. I've seen how many little roach are there. I'm just gonna pop that short line. I'm gonna lose feed down here. I'm just going to feed little nuggets like that on that short line. Great to catch one so early. It went quiet, so I knew something was there. I'm going to hear the digger all day, I'm afraid. I'm doing a load of work to um, Island Pool. It's emptied now, being completely redone. This is, this is the first lake Grant done. This one here. Yeah. Lovely lake now. My favourite lake anyway. Skimmer. Just put two pinkers on. Slow start, but we're all catching an odd little fish, and uh, it's going to get better and better, I think. I hope. Let's hope the carp don't wake up. We're fishing till half three, and I'm sure we'll start to see a few carp by then. Wind's really getting up. Rather went 13, not 14. Yeah, should have netted that. I thought it was a roach. <laughs> First fish from the right hand swim. That's a great sign. That's on my positive swim. Which gives me a green light to feed my uh, other swim, I think. Let's lubricate this a bit. It's not right, it's sticking. Don't count. One in, did we? New hook link required. That's a big skimmer. I thought it was a two pound skimmer the way he went. One, big F one. Over top. Not a tench. What are you doing down there? I'm not even break yeah. And another one bites the dust. Only three carp so far. <laughs> First look back short. I've had three carp on already, we're only an hour in, which is what I feared. Great carp peg.
alarm telling me in half an hour I'm going to have to stop fishing and buy some fishing mania tickets. <laughs> Not ideal. Sometimes big green down the edge in some of these venues. Right, let's buy some fish out tickets. Well, I've had uh, seven or eight carp on now and a crayfish. Put a little bit of mince worming on one line just to, because it's so rubbish, just to see if I could spark it. I had a skimmer on it and a little roach. And then a big crayfish that dropped off exactly where I caught it. The match has gone completely pear shaped at the moment. Because all I'm doing is catching tiny fish, crayfish, or carp. Not really enjoying it. And I've had a go on the uh, Angler Trust website and it's crashed, so I can't get any Fishermania tickets. So, uh, that bad gateway. Oh dear, it's not like they didn't know a thousand people had to descend on a website all at once, is it? So we'll give up on that, and probably ain't got no fish show tickets this year. Absolute joke. Yeah. This is a cool one. Totally buckled at the back. Weird. Um, yesterday, um, a funny old match really, but I, uh, I managed to win the whole of bank pool with £15. So not too bad, but there was um, a £22 off Meadow, and I think the next best weight off there was 16 And there was a 29 off Moors, and the next best weight was 17 on there. So, so I'm in the mix for weight, but I need a £20 today. And I think this wind's going to be horrific once it gets up really bad. So uh, I've got the feeder rods and everything packed. It was going to be float only, but they've allowed sensibly allowed feeder fishing and bomb fishing today um, because some people won't be able to hold a pole, I don't think. So, um, but yeah, we're in the mix. So I've done well. Um, uh, I, I stopped filming after a couple of hours. One, I, um, it was uh, 12 o'clock and I tried to get my Fishermania tickets and uh, what a debacle that was. So. Um, um, we all knew the server was going to crash, but it seems like the Angling Trust didn't realise that was going to happen. So, uh, but that's what happens when you create a load of mass hysteria for tickets. So um, the, the site crashed, couldn't handle all the uh, all the traffic, and refreshing, 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 and um, uh, bad gateway or something. It kept saying for everyone. And um, anyway, eventually I got on, and a really convoluted way of getting tickets as well, which. It, wasn't very uh, well could be improved should we say so uh, but they've obviously took the easy option there so I managed to get five tickets and all the others got sold out in record time 
And uh, yeah, today's another day. Um, hopefully Storm Eunice isn't going to hit us too badly, but we are down in a valley today and a very open exposed lake. So I think we're going to get, um, you're going to have to be very, very lucky if you're going to be out of the wind today. Um, and I think this wind's going to wake the carp up. I had at least 10 carp on yesterday and four crayfish as well. It drove me mad a little bit, really. It was just hard, difficult fishing. There was fish there, but every time you get a, get a skimmer, the next put in your drop, get a carp. I had two on the drop. I literally fed, dropped it in, and a foul up to two foot deep. Um, so it was just heaving with fit carp, which I expected with this uh, with this wind and everything. My peg would have been an awesome carp peg in a carp match, but um, yeah, not ideal for skimmers. But we did all right. We did okay. Caught best on maggots. I did fire up a pellet swim um, and had two or three on that, but I also had five carp on that. So every time they come, you knew it's if you float, be up and down, up and down, up and down, and boom, ball up big carp on. So uh, you knew when a carp was in your peg as well. So that was just such a shame, really. I did try potting a little bit of worming on a separate swim, and that just brought crayfish. <laughs> the crayfish love that. So uh, lesson learned: don't fish chop worm in a lake on a crayfish. But anyway, we're gonna have a. I'm, we've got just enough time to uh, say hello to everyone, and then we'll have a draw, and hopefully draw a nice peg and catch twenty pound plus of skimmers. <laughs> there we are. You see what way the wind's blowing there? That's meadow, big old lake meadow, very old lake. And uh, this is moors. That's where all the weights were yesterday. There was a 29 pound on moors, and then up there there's middle pool, and behind that is bank pool. So yeah, it's hacking into that corner peg there. That one just just there is absolutely heaving with a uh, carp and f1s so you don't really want to draw that so uh but uh yeah somewhere out the wind on this lake would be uh my choice today i think my cue oh, bad night blow all the wind blow your sheep away snoring from 10 to 8 until half past seven this morning that's all right an old man doesn't have sleep does he <laughs> I have drawn possibly one of the best or most famous pegs at Moreland's farm but yeah I'm definitely gonna hook a few carp and f1s unfortunately I am absolutely caked in mud and this is from yesterday my peg was like the Somme yesterday and it's not much better <laughs> we are bad everything's battened down just about everything's weighed down oh dear two pole rigs and a nine foot feeder rod that's all i've got set up jeez Absolutely horrific. Blown away. Well, I hope you can hear me. This is absolutely horrific weather. I am the windiest peg on the lake. It's going to be full of carp and F1s as well. At times, I can hold five or six meters, but I think I might be feeder fishing half the day, so we'll see. But uh, I've got a gram rig and a half gram rig at the moment. I might set a duplicate up because I can see me. Uh, having a few tangles and stuff in this wind but uh, yeah 15 minutes before the start not overly looking forward to this <laughs> i'm gonna need a bit of energy i think the guy next door is already not bothered to go to his peg i think there'll be a few pack of them early that would be a big advantage, I'd be able to fish that way, but the wind's going to knock it out. <laughs> oh well. So we've got a short line there, a short line there, and a 11 metre line, and that's it. I might just quickly plumb up an edge rig. But it's going to be F1 soup there, I think. Mm. Bait wise, under here. That's it. Hopefully it's all nicely protected under there. Two live maggots. Ball of ground bait down there. Two 
two short lines. One with a big ball. It was a bit funny yesterday, so uh, there we are. Quick look on that close in. <laughs> what are we doing in this? What are we doing? A single maggot on a 20, that. Just a quick look here. Catching a few. Roaching things there. Might be the only place I can fish properly. All wire stem floats today. I've got a half gram rig for that way and a 0.6 and a 1 gram rig for straight in front. It's a quick fire minute loose in case there's any roach knocking around there already. Doesn't look like there are. At the moment all my rigs are uh, over depth. Could be as much as a foot over depth today. <laughs> oh dear, it's raining. Lovely. Simply lovely. Bloody gram on a commercial. I think we need it today. Single dead maggot. Try and hold it. Just in Norman opposite. I think he's had a. I think he's had an F1 already. Bad side. I have got my spray bar which might come out but uh, sometimes it, they can cause breakages when it's this windy and you're holding on so uh, we'll see how we get on without it first basically just digging on with every rig Anyway, wallop thunder. Ah. I'd like to show a lot more bristle, but because they're skimmers. You can't really, you've still got a fish, you know, sensitive, <laughs> even with a one gram rig, or even more so with a one gram rig.
and it's not warm either that, that rain's really cold already this ground rig seems spot on No chance if that was a skimmer. Well, I had uh, two skimmers, a perch and a little roach. And then I think I pricked a carp and I haven't had a bite there since. So I've just topped up with a ball of ground bait and we'll have a look at this line. Definitely can't put a kinder pot on today. <laughs> just one more thing to blow around and catch the wind and create tangles. It's definitely a bite. No, I don't know what. Oh no. Carp. Carp number one. Plus F1. Why can't I draw a peg like this on Fishermania? All the other drawbacks. Bigger than that, don't we? We've had to run a little roach on this line. We've just had a little skimmer, very little, then a swinger, a swinger skimmer. Norman opposite is just catching an F1 and chuck. So uh, we'll see. We'll get one more fish on this line, and then we'll swap again. Rain's coming down thick and strong now. The presentation's the hardest thing today. I need to put some line on the bottom, but if I put too much line on, I won't see a bite. So uh, it's really uh, tricky today. Another nugget.
bigger than that. The way he pulled. We had a weight builders today. This is the best the weather's been today. <laughs> I've just had two skimmers and two drop. And a third. Any stronger elastic that'd have come off four to six slick, basically like a five. Had that one instantly. Never seem to break it, do they? Oh wait! Can't believe the sun's actually coming out. Is he having a laugh? The wind swept round, it's in my face. Absolutely bucketed down, just up the car, and now the sun's coming out. I wonder for how long. Whee! Gotcha. Yeah, the skimmers go, but the, uh, still an odd perch there. They're quite chunky though, perch. He's fishing about nine metres to my left. God knows how he's doing that. God knows. That's from the other direction, that one. Chin.
time it's taken me to change my up with such cold hands in this wind, I might as well get the fish in the net to save me up length. Start a new swim to my left, I think. Full float length off there. Let's go to that pipe. Might still be a skimmer. Might still be a skimmer. What is it? It's a hybrid. <laughs> Big hybrid. getting some luck. Certainly had none up to now. Some silver there again now, you can just tell. And then it goes quiet and an F1 or a, or a carp's in your peg. the other section on now just so I can hold it over the rig over the line a bit more I'm just holding it on the join now I hope this guts aren't too bad Augusta wind took it. How on earth that stayed on, I'll never know. Rud. Rud. Certainly got a whole lot worse. Hold a pole. Button down the hatches, boys.
it's windy when you're about to catch a landing net in the field behind you. This is F1 number six on the bounce, and they're all at least two pound a piece. Okay, and there's another fair F1. I think it might be another F1. Fast truth, not seen many of them. Oh dear me, that was shocking. I'm just shivering in the back of the van now. Too cold to even pack away. I've had over 20 F1s easily. And it's just been carnage at the end and the wind's got worse and worse and worse in my face. It flipped round and just blew in my face. Not pleasant. An odd fish there. Last hour was a waste of time. Just F1. I had six in six drops uh, at one point. And at the end they were sitting sort of a foot off the deck. Just foul looking them. Didn't matter what I did, I couldn't do much else. They were rolling in the middle as well, so if I'd have chucked a feeder, I'd have just hooked them there. Never mind, let's see how we got on. I'm going to sleep well tonight. <laughs> I've had a very hard earned 11 pound 4 ounces and 11 pound 8 ounces has won the lake. Uh, yeah, that sums up the day really. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Jimmy Brooks stays in the bank. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. 